First, though, we continue to follow breaking traffic news in Orlando. Oh, yeah, this is a big one. A death investigation involving a pedestrian still has a stretch of I-4 in Orlando shut down. Sky 6 flew over the eastbound lanes near John Young Parkway. News 6 reporter Mark Lehman joins us live. Mark, it's been nearly 12 hours since this was first reported. What are police saying? They're not telling us much. We've asked police several questions about what led to the situation out here, and their only response essentially has been that this is an ongoing investigation. Now, we're right here off of Orange Blossom Trail at the off-ramp from I-4, and take a look at what we're seeing, a smashed-up car that's believed to be involved in all this. Uh, the situation, though, however, started about a half a mile down the interstate. Now here's video we shot of the scene after sunrise. Crime scene vans blocking off the eastbound lanes of I-4 near OBT. We counted more than 20 evidence markers in the road and investigators have been using a drone and other specialized equipment to piece together what happened. It was around 10.30 last night when Orlando police responded to what they called a suspicious incident. We know firefighters were dispatched to a call involving a vehicle that hit a person. The dispatcher also indicated one or more semi trucks may have been involved. Now, police would not confirm those details, only saying that they're investigating a death on the interstate involving a pedestrian. And back out here live along OBT, police are in the process of towing away that vehicle. But at this point, there's no indication of when the roadway will reopen. Again, those express lanes are open on I-4, but the main lanes are still closed. We're going to keep an eye on the situation out here and keep you updated with that. And also, if we learn any new details on the investigation. For now, reporting live in Orlando, Mark Lehman, getting results, News 6.